tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hello, AfterBuzzers, and welcome to the inaugural episode for Queens of Drama on Pop. I'm your host, Grant Runner, and with me tonight, my co-host tonight, Mark J. Freeman. Mm -hmm. We are going to break everything down about these women and this <laughs> crazy show. Um, well, thanks for tuning in to us here. Uh, you can tweet us, and please do, with the hashtag Queens of Drama ABTV. And we're going to be discussing episode one, season one, I Don't Do Ugly, colon, Art Imitating Life. <laughs> <laughs> a long title. I, I just, I just, there's just a lot going on with this show. Yeah. Um, and a big cast. Let's get into our first impressions. Um, you know, you're fairly familiar with everybody. Most on? everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I had to Google a couple people, which... Um may say a lot about some of the people. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure. Not we'll discuss, a, yeah. we'll discuss them a little bit, but I'm sure someone right. will hate me because I didn't know somebody, but whatever. Oh, too bad. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's break it down. So who we saw, Lindsay Hartley first. First, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I know her from Passions. Passions. I remember yep. she was on Days before she was run over by a car. Yes. On the show. And she was on the All My Children ABC version and the reboot. So she's like a ride or die chick with these soaps. Like she was there to the end, the last day of Passions, yep. the last day of All My Children. I think she's a really like, uh, you know, she's just a committed chick. Yeah. I, I like her personally quite a bit. Um, I know you have a different I, I opinion. Don't, I don't, I, I actually, I thought I would dislike her more mm -hmm. watching the show. I didn't dislike her as much as I thought I would. I, but I, I have a, t a tendency to dislike them because of the characters. Oh, okay. So yeah. I think I just, and I just had such a bad taste about passions. And then when she uh. came to Days, I was just like, uh-uh, no, don't bring mm. these. Because a lot of the passions people came to Days. Right. So I have, I, other than Eric Martinsoff, everybody, uh, and uh, Rafe, I guess. Um, Galen. Galen Gehring mm -hmm. is still there, too. I don't, I, they're not so bad. But some of the ones I was just like, mm. No, we don't yeah. need them. So I'm. It's just because I'm protective of days. But I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't hate her that much. Right. Yeah. No. I, <laughs> Yet. I, I'm interested yeah. to see what she does. Um. And then Christy Ferris came on the show. Who I and I actually did watch Passions towards the last half. Mm -hmm. And I I didn't even know who she was. I recognized a picture with her and Charles Divins that was per, like she were four Simones on yeah. Passions. Right. And I think she was two out of four. Yeah. So she was kind of before when I started watching. And and I questioned, you know, really, you know, where she fits in uh, on the show still. Yeah. Um, and well, and she even said she moved to Atlanta for a while. Now she's back and she's kind of kickstarting her career and everything. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, she's we'll yeah, she's coming from a different place. I guess she's coming. She, that's her story where everybody else has kind of, you know, been doing it and playing the game, bouncing from all these shows to show or right. someone like Donna Mills, who has a long, extensive history and now is kind of reinventing herself in this new modern age. Right. That this Now this is her story. She's coming back to kind of like, you know, re regain her career, I, I guess. I guess. And I, I'm guessing... She has a butterfly hair clip business. Oh, probably. Because every she wore a butterfly hair clip in her hair, different colors. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know? That? I noticed. I had to write it down. I was like, really? Another butterfly hair clip? So I'm hoping it's her business and that that's why she's wearing Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know why a uh, 30-year-old woman would be wearing <laughs> butterfly clips. Whatever. Just... My little tidbit. I thought it was kind of a nice '90s throwback. <laughs> okay, in 2015, but, but okay. Yeah, I mean, no tea, no shade, no shade, Christy. Uh, good for you, uh, Crystal Hunt. Who I knew, know from Guiding Light uh, as mm -hmm. Lizzie Spalding. I was actually just watching a scene on YouTube the other day for randomly it came up <laughs> as something I should watch, and um, she she's got a, kind of a, our own. Persona, her she's got a, kind of got a little bit of a track record in Hollywood as kind of being a, a bad girl herself. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see how she plays into the cast and uh, she plays I, the drama. I I, I, I I liked her. I don't know much about her. Yeah. Uh, I do recognize her from uh, Guiding Light. Um, I did. I watched Guiding Light for a very short amount of time. I, I have like 
tidbits. Mm. You know, where yeah. I watched some. Um, I didn't watch any uh, ABC, but every once in a while I caught a CBS one. I was just anti ABC soaps. Uh, <laughs> there's a I'm, lot of people like the, no, yeah, really. There's definitely a, the old school diehard soap fans know that we either watch all three on ABC, right? Exactly. Or you were a CBS guy. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Okay, mm-hmm. good. At least you understand. But and then, yeah, no, I was, and NBC no. was always in the middle because they always had so many defunct shows. They never really could. Yeah. When I was a, I was a huge Santa Barbara fan. Uh-huh. Like I lived and breathed, and I still I have a the last like soap opera digest with like the really? tribute episode, the uh, mm-hmm. tribute magazine. Oh, Santa Barbara was my everything, <laughs> and then all my friends growing up liked General Hospital, mm-hmm. which was the competing yeah. show, and I we would just get in these fights on the bus. <laughs> oh, wow. That's I'm really funny. dating myself. <laughs> uh, so the, the school bus. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but let's get away from yeah. how old I am. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> let's do it. Um, Lexus, nothing from you either. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about uh, Vanessa Marcel. Yes. Who, big diva on General Hospital, speaking of GH. I know. Um, I know, but also mm-hmm. Vegas. So. Yes, also Las Vegas. Yeah, she seems pretty game for things. I'm pretty yeah. interested in seeing her. Um, I don't really know her outside of those. Two shows. In fact, I didn't see her when she was on General Hospital, but she came back, I believe, in 2011. And um, I was interning on the show at the time, and oh, she nice. happened to be there. And um, it was kind of a big deal. That was like her big comeback, and it okay. kind of fell kind of flat. Okay. So she's, you know, I think she's trying to figure out where she fits in now in, mm-hmm. in the world of, of soaps and in daytime. Um, then we'll transition to Hunter Tylo, mm-hmm. who is one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> I, I absolutely love her. I uh, I worked with her briefly, too, and um, we just connected. And I, uh-huh. you know, when... When I, I mean, I was an intern. So you'll be able to get her here for us. Uh, oh, I hope so. I'm, wor- <laughs> I'm working on it. Uh, Hunter, check your messages. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I mean, you know, when you when you're an intern, you don't really work with these people too closely. But her and I, we actually did, and yeah. we just really hit it off. Oh, that's great. And I think she's a really cool girl, and, uh, and she's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I was really happy to hear that she got on this project. Yeah. We didn't see yeah. much of her no. in the episode, but I, I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more. Yeah. Of her. I and hope I, so. I I I know the name. I do, I don't know her. I. Remember the pant? Is it the Pantene mm. that she was talking about Pantene commercial or the Breck girl or whatever she was? Um, I remembered that mm. when she said it. I was like, "Oh, right. that's right." That's. Well, I mean, again, I'm mm. dating myself. Well, also the the infamous loss that she had with Aaron Spelling. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. So you know, yeah. she's she's got uh, she's been in the game for a little bit. I need to do some more googling. So <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> I I love Hunter. I want to see more of her on the show. Yeah, I liked. I mean, I, yeah. I guess that we didn't see much of her, but what I saw, I, I wasn't. I wasn't disappointed. And then, of course, we can't forget Miss Donna Mills. As and I want to rename the show the Donna Mills Show. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a bit about her. It yeah. really is. I yeah. mean, she's she's the queen of the wall. It seems at least I, that's how they positioned her. Right, right. And I I'm curious. I, I felt like there was like this weird, like I, I get that it's it's like now it's reality, but we all know that it's not really reality anymore. So I'm mm-hmm. just curious. How much of this, uh, why is Donna in charge, why is Donna in charge is real, yeah. and how much of it is, okay, mm-hmm. we're going to pretend we don't like you at right. first. You know what I mean? Like, right. Because obviously this show was pitched. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it just, it, I was, I kept having like these things where I'm like, okay, it's reality, but now we yeah. know that reality isn't reality. Right. So it was just kind of like, but I... Every moment Depends. she was on screen was yeah. my everything. I just mm-hmm. I I think she's gonna be my new <laughs> favorite. She might give yeah. Jack a run for his money. Mm-hmm. His money. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, watch <laughs> if you watch my Days of Our Lives recap, you'll understand that. <laughs> there's there's a wide range of reality TV and what you can really buy into 100. percent Yeah, a lot of them are they cross a wide range of of what's really produced. But I do take this show with a giant grain of salt because Donna Mills did say in an interview that it is lightly scripted and that it oh, just okay. is what it is. Okay. And it's like, because she was talking about taking on new projects and adapting to this new world of television and she's like, yeah, and this one, I mean, I don't think anyone probably at Pop was happy she said that, but nobody's gonna like, you know, bury that or, or you know, Good. slap her on the wrist she's done a Mills. I'd rather, and I would rather go in being honest about it like that than these shows that are trying to 
portray this reality as reality. And right. we're like, we know it's not. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I actually, I, mean, I actually appreciate that. Yeah. And I appreciate that she said it. And I feel like someone at some point came to Donna and said, you know, we're going to cast you as the villain of this show. Yeah. And ran away. But right. you know what I mean? Right. Like, exactly. But right. that's right. kind of like, yeah, I mean, all right. So I, I'm electing to go for the ride. You know, yeah, for whatever absolutely. it is, like, let's bring it I, on. I, you know? I enjoyed it a lot more then I, I, I'm not saying I didn't think it was, I thought it was gonna be horrible, but I really, I laughed a lot. I mean, you <laughs> yeah. were in the room with me. I mean, I, I thought it was entertaining. And I, I, for Days of Our Lives, I don't know if you've seen my recap for Days of Our Lives, but I do every week a quote of the week from Days of Our Lives. And I just couldn't stop writing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and most of it was from Donna. But oh, I was just too, like, oh my too. God, that's fabulous. Oh my God, that's fabulous. <laughs> so I'm hoping that's the stuff that she scripted. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, let's shout some out. Let's, let's, let's skip um, some good lines while we're okay. talking about it. Well, the, uh, in, which was the title of the episode, I Don't Do Ugly. Um, <laughs> oh, that was something else. Uh, I can't, oh, well, my favorite was for reasons oh. that escape me. For reasons, they really, that, yes, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> they really, uh, they're really interested in her at the network. Exactly, about Vanessa. Yeah, and then um, this. Is, this year. I just love the shade. Uh, like, sorry, I'm, I need I, the shade. That, dramatic, that was a dramatic pause. I was like, <laughs> I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> no, it was great. I, it was, it was, it was everything. Yeah, no, she, she Donna was pretty shady. Yeah, she was. I, there were a lot of comments about. Like she didn't know who some of the girls Oh were. yes, she was like Vanessa and I'm some of familiar. her friends. Yeah. that was one of them, and some of her friends. Yeah, um, she was not familiar. She doubted their talent. She doubted their yes. <laughs> the, 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 what you said about the CW? The, oh, you know, wanting her and she's like, oh, they want her. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I wrote yeah, Vanessa and some of her friends, and I wrote underlined <laughs> some of her friends. I like that she wants these women to pitch to her. Yeah, I mean, it's really like... See, that was one of my things where I was like, I feel like that was kind of scripted because mm. I, they were just, there was just so much like, well, of course you're going to have to pitch. An, like, I mean, someone's going to have to, like, I, I think I even wrote down at some point, um, you can't have six leaders. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, someone has oh, yeah. to be in charge. Someone's going to have someone's to Someone's got up. to, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's so funny to hear um, Christy... My butterfly girl, hashtag butterfly girl, must start a new hashtag. Um, talk about Crystal not being, because Crystal was younger than her, so she was yeah. commenting about this and that that she doesn't know. And I'm like, well, listen to what you're saying. You're saying that about her, but then you're 30 something and you're not going to listen to what Donna Mills has to say? Mm, like, yeah. how can you not, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. come on, girl. If you're going to you say it about her, you got to right, live right. up to it yourself. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm just thinking if I was somebody, who got the opportunity to work with Donna Mills? I'm like, I'll do whatever you tell me. To. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, that could yeah. be my downfall, but I, I just, I, it's like, why would you not? Right. That's why right? I think that's where I have the iffiness of the scriptedness because mm -hmm. I'm like, are we really questioning Donna Mills? Yeah, and Hunter Tyler. Like, and come on. Would anyone be that outright like rude? This right. woman's coming on board. She's right. you know produced in the past. She's legendary in the industry. I mean, yeah, I don't want to shout out that woman's age, but. Mm -hmm. She, she is, is. She's north of sixty, I guess we can say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and to be, you know, just to be nice. Why and, did you point at me when you said that? <laughs> I'm not rude. pointing at anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Are you but, putting me in her category? <laughs> no. Rude. Uh, she. Well, she came out in that dress at that place. Yeah. She like what a great entrance. Oh, what did she? Say? Wait, what hold do you wait. want a fabulous entrance like that on a reality show where what? you walk out in a couture gown with a <laughs> stylist and it's I'm Donna Mills. Yeah. Well, I, and I, <laughs> since you mentioned couture gowns, I have to give a shout out to Mark Zunio Couture, who's the in the show that she was trying on dresses. He's actually a friend of mine. Oh, nice. And his, uh, and Renee Horsch, who actually works with him, um, are two good friends of mine, and they've given me jewelry yeah. and stuff for oh, nice. some projects that I've worked on. We'll put that in question. <laughs> <laughs> I like that projects I've worked on. Oh, um, I wonder if you can get any dirt on what went I on would that think. Day. Well, I'm sure, that they, and I love. They're actually really great friends, and, and they're big fans of me, which makes me love them even more. <laughs> um, and I'm sure they would love to come talk to us about the show. So I could definitely talk to them about them. So well, a, mo that. a moment from that scene was my, one of my favorite moment of the whole episode. Actually, happened there. It's when <laughs> Donna Mills admitted <laughs> she didn't have any time at all except for that for that fitting, fitting to come. And then when and then when Vanessa was like. Like, uh, I didn't write this down. When Vanessa said, um, she goes, well, do I call you? Do you do coffee? 
<laughs> and then she, is that what you wear? No, gowns. I wear gowns. <laughs> <laughs> See, Vanessa made a mistake. She should have never put Donna Mills from the start on a pedestal like Right, that. exactly. That's because true. Because then Donna, no, Donna's got her number then. And she's yeah. like, all right. You know, it's it's one thing to work with people. And then it's another to know that you've got like some super fans that are like, looking up to you as like a figure right because then you can kind of you you, you put yourself on a, on a you know a different level right versus the same playing field of six women working on a project yeah now you've got someone towering above who can make these decisions and make these meetings without you know she doesn't mm -hmm. really value the other people's opinions or right. or their their contacts or, or their ideas at all as we saw yeah so i mean donna i mean vanessa made a mistake from the start she shouldn't have done that yeah i i mean like well i, I mean i'm I'm team Donna, hands down. So it's hard not like, to be. Yeah, and uh, it, it is, I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with what you said, though. I well, agree. one person who really appreciates Donna Mills as, as much as we do is Hunter Tylo. And she's on, like, I'm glad that they brought her on because Donna needs kind of an advocate. She needs, like, kind of like mm -hmm. a, a right hand man that will kind of pull for her a little bit. Right. Well, and, and then there was the part to where Hunter said something that they thought was insulting about to the girls like you know is this you trying to become a primetime star oh yeah which yeah. was very insulting to some of them um but i i agree i think it was crystal that said you know a lot of daytime people don't get a lot of credit for their acting abilities it kind of is looked down upon and made fun mm -hmm. of and stuff but i think as you know because you've worked with a lot of daytime shows and i've pretty familiar with mm -hmm. a few um there are some amazing people on oh, data yeah. and it's like it's and so underappreciated it's so underappreciated and it's such hard work and such long days and i mean the amount of memorization and stuff like that is just it's insane not that that memorizing makes you a good actor that's not <laughs> what i'm saying there are a few of those out there, but there as well. <laughs> are, right exactly but it is uh, there are i have to yeah. i agree there are people that are, and i i don't think that's what hunter uh meant mm -hmm. but it was kind of like you know well there was a comment made i believe it was vanessa that said it she was like you know the fact that we get to you know act and and carry out our art and our craft mm -hmm. it doesn't matter you know what day part the right. project comes on right they're still on set they're a working the actor actors. they're yep. creating a role it shouldn't matter at this point and mm -hmm. but daytime's always had that stigma it'll always be the red-headed stepchild of television right which is a shame right but it is what it is right and, and well we it. didn't mention either that this came on after the daytime emmys right mm -hmm. so and days of our lives shout out to their co-winning the emmy i guess co-winning is that what we're calling it they co-won <sighs> with young and the restless so mm -hmm. but um yeah this came on right after that, and it was kind of their big promotion for yeah. queens of drama which i actually thought was a smart idea it was, it to was, put it on after that and then it moves to when do we when does it move I'm to? Not sure. i think i wrote it down hold on because i did I'm, some I'm, googling today i'm kind of rolling my eyes at this double win wednesdays at eight on april 29th it starts april next week oh it's on wednesdays eight, wednesdays at eight. Oh, yeah <laughs> i didn't know this yeah okay yeah. I, I tried to figure out where i was going to move and all they talked about was the premiere date yeah so okay well uh grant has to revise his schedule yeah <laughs> okay yeah. um interesting good to know um yeah so but on um, that double win i don't I, there's four shows on the air i don't understand why two shows two, need to win. <laughs> two of the four so shows now you have won. a 50 percent chance of winning a daytime I mean, that's yeah. not saying much for bold and the beautiful and what's the gh other? and general hospital <laughs> yeah i don't know like you didn't just lose you you're the last you're the final two of, <laughs> of four <laughs> i know like it was either this close or not at all right but right. yeah i mean i don't daytime emmys they love to do that double win stuff right they, they do that with the acting categories i don't know about tonight because we didn't have the opportunity to watch the full yeah i mean uh, we should have done a recap for the emmys that would have been yeah fun. yeah i would have liked that We'll talk to after and we have, there's plenty that. yeah there's plenty of after buzzers who are out there on the carpet and working the daytime emmys today so um feel free to check out some of the various twitter accounts or yeah. at the after buzz youtube page and maybe we can see some of the interviews yeah with the daytime stars i wonder if any of them were there i'm assuming some of them were. Oh, i'm probably. sure donna mills was there she I'm was sure. nominated for a, a guest role oh that's right um, she was for yeah. she plays um when they were talking about it on the show. Oh, she plays um, uh, Michelle Madeline. Stafford's yeah. 
uh, mother. On, <laughs> she play, yeah. yeah. She plays Madeline on General Hospital. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for her to come back. My roommate and I love to goof on her on that show. I love it. It's so over the top. They had really? her. They had her in prison, like putting on lipstick in the reflection of a TV screen. Like she. Oh, how funny! So over the top. Anyway, speaking of over the top, let's get back to Queens of Drama. <laughs> um, so basically, Donna Mills instantly shooting down all the ideas. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to do a medical show. I'm not doing a gritty drama. That's a dramedy. That's a sitcom. What else do you got? And everyone else is just sitting there stunned. But, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever watched the show uh, Hollywood Divas? I don't think I have. It's kind of like the African-American version of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like there's a bunch of women that are like former actors or actresses. They, they dabble in work, and they're trying to I've, come back. Okay, got you it. You know, so it's more of a comeback show, but they're putting together a project to all feature themselves. Got it. And so it's the power struggle of who's taking over the roles and, and all that, and then what, you know, what they're going to actually do. Right. So it reminds me a lot of that where there's – of course, the, you know, it's great to be produced in that way because it's always like, let's give some really lousy ideas. Yeah. <laughs> but I still feel like there's no, like, I want to know really what, what is the goal here? I know the goal. Right. Before we start making meetings at networks, Yeah. you know, it's one thing to talk about talent you want to attach to a project, but let's talk about what, what is it going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that, look, you said it was part of most of the episode was that of, you know, throwing out ideas and her cutting them off and all that kind of stuff. Uh, again, that was one of those, like I said, that was one of those moments where I was like, so is this the scripted part? Is this, you know, the, okay, you know, just come and we'll throw out ideas. And then Donna Ripley like shot him down. Um, mm. But uh, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a legit, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy that they're doing this. Like I, I, I think anybody who's in this industry, you know, you do, you want to create mm -hmm. something that you're proud of. That's yeah. you that, you know, reflects the best you. So, I mean, I wish them all the best for sure. And I think having Donna Mills at the helm, whether they want her to be at the helm or not, because mm -hmm. they were the, yeah. the preview of the season seems right. like that's going to be the continuing theme right. is mm -hmm. that we don't want Donna in charge, but Donna's taking over. We don't want Donna in charge, yeah. but Donna's taking over. So, and then we'll also get to see uh, Miss Collins. As mm -hmm. well, yeah, later looking in the forward season. to that. Yeah. So they switch gears, and we had to watch this Christy girl take poop out of a chicken coop, mm -hmm. and then we cut to a shopping. Got to see their backstories. You got to know where they <laughs> live. You know. Well, I was trying to hear about Vanessa's farm. Personally, yeah. it was just like which I mean, actually how many wasn't. Times? But it wasn't even a like she even says in there. She's it's not really a farm. She lives, at, but she's because she said she, she does, lived in Northern California. Yeah, she does have a farm there. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that this house that she was at is her LA house. Yeah, and that just has a chicken coop in it. Yeah. So it's like it's not really. I mean, I get what they were doing, yeah. but it's like okay, it's not really a farm. I mean, if she wants to be on a farm with her son so much, just go and do it. I mean, right. I feel like she's not that invested in this project. If she's like that, if should only, have been the reality show. The six of them living on her farm. Oh yeah, <laughs> Donna Mills. Donna Mills. Queens of the farm. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spin <laughs> Sorry. I would love to see you don't need Donna Mills. in that environment. I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then they transition to Crystal Hunt having a problem with Ter Teresa. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. Right? I do the same thing yeah. on, on uh, <laughs> our recap show. I'm, I'm like, there's too many names. Yeah, Everyone's Lindsay got two Hartley, names. <laughs> who played Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. <laughs> yeah. Well, she had but, a few more last names yeah, than that. A couple but, yeah. more, yeah. But uh, she had a problem with her online dating, which definitely seems like, okay, oh, that's right. here's the little problem that we're going to have between the two of you. Especially having the youngest character on the show having a problem with dating in the digital age right. seems so backwards it's, to me. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. I didn't think of it that way, but now that you're saying it, I'm like, yeah, that I, it was it was odd. It, that seemed like a very staged yeah. moment I mean, as this, well. Yeah. But Crystal, I mean, if she's happy, I mean, if yeah. we went through your phone, you don't have Tinder on there. You never <laughs> checked anything. I do no OK Cupid. Right. I right. mean, at, at any point, really. I mean, you know, you, to have the youngest character be so against it and be the traditionalist is just. just it's different. Yeah. Yeah. It was, different. yeah, it was, uh, it was a moment. And right. I have a feeling it's going to be, um, Lindsay and Crystal kind of going head to head and Christy kind of being the referee. Oh, you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. scene, I feel like that we're going to see that a lot more. Yeah. The two of them kind of going at it and Christy right. kind of being like, you know, mm -hmm. 
Stop fighting, guys. Right. <laughs> well, one moment that I found interesting was Donna Mills going to the CW, and she met with Tom Sherman. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just find it strange and, and interesting that she got a meeting with him so quickly into this project that she was approached for. Yeah. Um, as someone who sets up a lot of these meetings, I don't work with the CW, but right. it takes a long time to get in front of these execs. Well, she so, did say she was. She pulled some strings. She made you know oh, okay. used her connections. So okay. I'm assuming. I mean, whether that. Or, you mm -hmm. know, again, we're on that fine line of what yeah. was, you know. Well, I mean, of course, this is a show that's on Pop. They're owned by Viacom. I mean, yeah. CW is owned by Viacom. You know, yeah. it all kind of comes it's together. All kind of, yeah. But it's interesting to me that they would choose the CW because that is a show that was, I mean, as a channel or a, a network that is focused strictly on young adults, the teens, preteens, mm -hmm. storylines. Uh, you know, uh, what was the name of that show, Gossip Girl, that was on there yeah. for so long? Like that's really like their their, their genre. genre, their yeah. uh, you know their their market. Yeah. So you know to have Donna Mills and to ask her if she's going to be starring in a, a woman of a certain age in a show that is definitely you know more I would say like would be good for you know TV land. And I'm yeah. saying this real. I'm right. saying this real. This right. is how I'm not being ageist or anything like that. I mean, mm -hmm. this is really how these networks think. Well, I, I think they also may that's kind of the demographic they want. Also, I yeah. think for this, so that's probably why they're going to them. Mm -hmm. I think that may be something. Yeah. I did. I did hear that the CW was trying to kind of you know bring up their age group a little oh, okay. bit more as well. So, okay, well, you know, a little bit of both. Yeah. Then. So yeah, it's interesting. But I, I would say you know uh, to have someone like Donna Mills attached to a project, I think that'd be so attractive to TV land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You know, because they they are looking for those people who did have a you know a good name, mm -hmm. you know, for a while and are still relevant and that they can work with. I think that'd be a, a better fit. But who knows? We don't know the logistics behind all this. Right. It was interesting nonetheless to see the meeting. And uh, Donna Mills was in some big cape. Did you yeah, that? yeah. She, she looked good. She yeah. looked good as always. Of course. <laughs> Even playing tennis, she looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I work in a tennis pro uh -huh. shop. Oh, really? So she looked. <laughs> really? <laughs> I see people in their worst. She looked amazing for playing tennis. She had a nice so. house, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> she, and while she was playing tennis, she told us in the interview, the one on one, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the confessional, basically, that she's going to make Vanessa believe that they're, you know, working together on this project, but really she's running she's the show. She's running the show. Yeah, so. which I'm not. I'm not. I'm mm. not afraid of that. <laughs> no. no, I like the casting of this overall. Um, is there anyone you wish that they could have put on the show? I, I heard out there someone wished they could put Lucci, Susan Lucci, oh, on the show. Yeah. Um, you know, I I think we're okay. I have. <laughs> I a, think I'm okay well, without her. I, I I don't know. If there's anyone that I I mean because most of the ones that I know are on Days of Our Lives. Um, I mean, I guess I, if I thought, try to think of somebody that's not on days anymore, like, you know, to kind of jumpstart. Ooh, you caught me off guard. <laughs> um, maybe, Lisa, oh, but see, Lisa Rinna and is on The Housewives now. I mean, I love Lisa, I love me some Lisa Rinna. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I don't need her on yeah, the show. Yeah, so she's, well, yeah, about, but she um, would be, I think, not mm. maybe a little too toxic for this yeah. group. What but. about like Nadia Bjorlin or Martha Madison? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, for sure. they have things going on. I yeah. I mean, they're relevant sure. and like, you know, but I mean, they are also. Well, know, I think Martha just that, started that her group. own online show. Mm -hmm. What winter? Uh, oh my gosh, when, winter, so, yes, winter, winter something. Winter, yes, winter something. Winter. Winter, <laughs> Alexis, Google it. Winter, <laughs> Winter Thorn, Winter Thorn, Winter Thorn. I think it's Winter Thorn. Yeah, well, because she has that producing experience and she's very well liked in the industry. Yeah, she could do well on a show like this yeah. and be the young. I producer. like Nadia. I like. I, yeah. I didn't. I never thought Nadia. And Nadia would be great. I, I like her a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, right. Well, I I would I'm going the opposite direction. Instead of uh, you know a younger star, I would love to see Kim Zimmer on this show. Oh, I Kim think she'd Zimmer. be great for reality. So I have TV. a little bad taste about Kim Zimmer because she came on Santa Barbara towards the end. Oh, and I was yeah. not a huge fan of her. She I felt like she ruined Santa Barbara. So. Oh gosh, how many years has it been? <laughs> I hold grudges. <laughs> I, I hold so. them. <laughs> I, I just want to see Kim Zara back on television. Yeah. Of course, read yeah. Shane Lewis, Guy and Light. For those <laughs> who need to place her. Because Guy and Light's been off since 2009. Yeah. And it's sad because if you Google Guiding Light, a lot of you know Christian gospel songs will come up as opposed to oh, the videos really? from the oh, show. Funny. So the sh you know the rel this online relevancy is is diminishing, which is sad. Yeah. You know, it was I did the watch Guiding Light for a show. short amount of time. I don't remember when I mm -hmm. watched it, but I did watch it for a short amount yeah. of time. 
Anyway, I would love to have her on, but you know, she's East Coast based. She's not going to do the show. Yeah. So I don't, what yeah. Can you well, do? I have a feeling though. I was thinking this too. I feel like I mentioned earlier, Joan Collins is going to be on on this season. Um, I have a feeling though we'll be seeing more soap opera women popping in and It'd out be nice, and stuff like yeah. that. I have a feeling we will. It'd be nice, especially to have you know the days of soap talk and right. soap net and all that. Right. Those days are so long gone mm -hmm. that to be able to have a different vehicle and a different you know way to express and to show the power of daytime mm -hmm. and the different stars yeah. that are so popular it's so relevant to the daytime but they don't really mm -hmm. translate you're not going to see you know someone like a you know a star like melody thomas scott you're not going to see her on craig ferguson you know right, or right, whatever right, right you know so i don't know I, I, I was I, <laughs> the worst one to give it's okay um no i was gonna what was i gonna say i was gonna say um oh i was saying this uh, about days of our lives there was we were talking one day because uh, on the show one of the characters made a reference to one of the housekeepers you know the butlers that answer the doors okay, on the soap yeah. operas um henderson and uh somebody said oh you know henderson he would have he'd be tweeting this out in no time or <laughs> something that i'm here or something and i said on our show i was like how what a great idea that would that be for days to actually create a Twitter account for Henderson. Mm -hmm. And that during the episodes, we get tweets and stuff about different things in the show, like to connect it to the show. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's uh, what everybody's doing now. It's like, you do something like that. Like, I'm just hoping that that's part of why they're doing this mm -hmm. because they want to get a younger audience. They want to get more people to watch this genre of television, which I am all for. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, let Deidre Hall get possessed by the devil every other day, <laughs> and I'm watching. Um, and, and it's but, like yeah. you know, you'll watch some other reality shows that are just like your brain cells die. But it's like at least with soaps, like you go into it knowing it's going to be a little far fetched. But yeah. it's just so like it's just so much fun. Yeah. So and, I really hope it does as, well. As long as this is a positive advocate for the genre, I think yeah, it'll absolutely. be helpful. It can't absolutely, absolutely. I'm thinking anything yeah. that will help it at this point. I'm all yeah, for it, right. you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that's kind of what we're right. leading up to with this. All right. Well, we talked about the show. We talked about who we would want to see. So let's talk about present day news and gossip. What's out there? Um, well, I did see... After Buzz TV News. Dun, dun, dun. I did see, and I don't know if this is really what we want to be talking about, but Crystal Hunt was given three years probation for attacking a bar patron. Yes. I don't know the details. I think you have the details of what actually happened. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was, I was like, oh, interesting. Well, she's definitely, she said she plays the bad girl on TV. Well, she's so doing she's it well. <laughs> With a record to prove it. I, I like it. I like it. I, I enjoy her. So, but I mean, this is like, you know, whatever. She claims that, um, well, basically, December 13th, there was um, a confrontation with the woman where she had to throw a pint of like a glass pint in this woman's face. She claims it was self defense. Uh, okay. And uh, she could have done a, a long time in, in, in prison. Yeah. I think uh, it was like three or four to years. Four. Yeah, yeah, up to yeah. four. But now you're saying that she got three you know, years probation. Yeah. So, yeah, so no she's, harm, not, no she's not going yeah. to jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got a record now. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> well, I hope that she's not doing anything like that on the show, but no. I hope that she brings it. So let's um let's do some predictions because I have okay. some recording to, with her. Okay. And now you're after Buzz TV. Ooh. I always love that. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky music. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> What's your prediction? <laughs> well, I, I predict that Crystal Hunt is going to be um, really the kind of the one to watch, the, the one who's going to really stir things up. Okay. Like, in a dramatic sense, like, with with, with the other women. Right. Of course, the driving force of the show we see is Donna Mills. Right. But I think that between all the other women, that, mm -hmm. that when Donna isn't pissing people off, it'll right. be Crystal that jumps in to do, to do it. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think I, I think, and I said this already. Um, I should have saved it for news and gossip. But I, ha I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict that we will be seeing a lot more um, daytime male and female people that mm -hmm. maybe we haven't seen in a while. Right, uh, friends of theirs, because I mean they're they're friends with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That's who the, tight, that's who's gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. they're they're a tight tight group. So. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. One, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, one thing I saw in the promo that I wasn't too crazy about was Donna Mills was driving a minivan in one of the, the shoots that they were doing. Yeah. Why would they put her in a minivan? <laughs> Don't these women have sports cars or, you know, at least like yeah. a, a, yeah. an Escalade to put this woman in? Yeah. So I don't know what type of 
soap drama this is going to be if they're driving around minivans. Yeah. I, I, some know, of the shots, yeah, seemed to be... suspect to me. There was some something on a bench outside and something looked like a park. So yeah. maybe that's why she was driving a van. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah, it'll be inter- I'm interested to see what the actual concept of the show that they go with right. is yeah. going to end up being. I mean, mm-hmm. they're building up to that with everybody having to bring in a pitch. Right. Well, the show is going to be 10 weeks long. We're already down now to nine. So over the coming weeks, we'll be seeing everything come together. And it looks like in the promo, there's a lot of uh, arguing and uh, throwing of the glass. Yes. And so Some mind getting the, thrown. Yeah, reality, what a waste of alcohol. <laughs> reality TV staples. So uh, we hope you'll stay with us and uh, we'll keep watching the show on a roll. Yes. Where can we find you in the world of social media? Um, on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love. L O R A Y N E L O V E, and also on Facebook, back, uh, Facebook.com backslash the Mark J Freeman. Okay, and you can find me on Twitter at Grants underscore underscore Rants. That'll do it for us for the first episode of Queens of Drama. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.